at her, she can look at me and just about tell what's on my mind. Yes. What's on my heart. She can look at me and say, what's bothering you? Yes. Now, I didn't say anything. Uh-huh. But her knowing me yes. and seeing a certain look made her realize something was bothering me. That's not her. Yeah. Yeah. I can look at her. Well, we can do that as humans to one another. Yeah. There are times we don't know exactly what to say to God. Yeah. But we don't have to know exactly what to say to God. Because yeah. he's more than just an intellectual God. He's a God that understands the feelings of our infirmities. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> 
family, you know, just a total family. Because in our day and time, we're confused Amen. about what the family really is. Yes. You know, the government has defined something. Yes. Society has defined something. Yes. But what has God defined? Yes. Yes. See, because you don't have to be steadfast in what you believe. Yes. Because there was, somebody said, uh, the church ain't what it used to be and this and that. Let me say, the church has been through all these cycles before. Yeah. There is nothing new. When you heard the term, if you heard the term dark ages, that was the church. They were saying that the church was so immoral and, and so lifeless yeah. that they called it the dark ages because the church is only, I'm talking about the body of Christ, is the only one that brings light to this world. And so when the church is silent and don't have a voice, we in dark ages. And so we're going through a difficult time, but there are always voices like crying in the wilderness and saying, look here, no matter what's going on, the presence 
presence of the Lord. That is a very, very important question. It's important because it's not who God says he is that's important because God knows who he is. Amen. But do you know who God is? Amen. Now, if I would ask that question like we just asked, who is God to you? Most of us would say we would know him and know him in a special way. But see, what I have discovered in these 41 years is that a lot of people know the God of their church and the God of church. But the God of the Bible, we rarely discover who he really is. Because if we really believe that God is who he said he is, then we wouldn't doubt who he is. Okay. We wouldn't find ourselves so full of anxiety, depressed, oppressed, defeated, wondering, because if we believe that God is who he said he is, not the God that we clap on Sunday morning, see, sometimes we, we confuse and energy with anointing. Uh huh. See, because you don't have to clap, you don't have to stomp, you don't have to make noise, and yet there can be anointing in your midst. And sometimes we get full of energy in church, and then we go out and we destroy. Attacks come our way, situations come our way, and so we don't have and really look to the God of power when we walk out of these doors. Now, what you have to really ask yourself is, if we're here two, two and a half hours on Sunday, and some of us not here on Wednesday, then if all you give it is God two and a half or two hours on a Sunday morning, if that's all you know about God, and that's all you trust about God, and that's all
see how, how that enough money to get them back down. See, that was broke because I wasn't as broke as I was. That's right. Come on now. Bring. See, when you're broke, you don't pay bills.
deception is the worst type of deception. Oh, that's right. Yes, it is. Because yes. it won't let you look at yourself. That's, that's, right. Right. that's, that's it. That's it. And so, since God will not deal with deception, mm -hmm. and you are deceiving yourself, yes. see, God is a God of absolute truth. And you turn around to what the God that is really true, what the God that can deal with you right now. Right, 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 right. No matter, but see, no matter what you have done, but if you say to God, Lord, I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I own up to what I did. Yeah, yeah. Not only that, God, if you give me grace, I won't do it no more. Yeah. But God, I need your help right now. Yeah, yeah. God don't want to talk about that. Be at my house. Right. 
disappoint their father and he can reject them. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. A mother go and know that her son is a mass murderer. She going right to that prison. Yeah. Yes. She going to sit there. <laughs> she going to look at him. Yeah. She'll be disappointed. Yeah. But she ain't going to deserve it. Because she has a contact that nobody else has a contact with. When God said he's the breast of one. He's the one that has fed you. He's the one that has served you. He's the one that cares about you. I 
know you may be dealing with something, but who is God? Are you going to invite him into this situation? Or are you just going to try to handle it with you and some family member and friend? Or are you going to invite God that can change and do anything? Because everything that I have invited him to, I don't care how crazy and difficult it looks. And see, that's why he can write, he can pin it down, and we know. How can you know that? If you ain't never experienced it, he said, and we know. He didn't say we were wondering, and we know that all things work together for that. Somebody said, time is a 